Hey guys, Ogi Sanji and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And I want to share with you guys item breakpoints in this video so as to not waste materials on upgrading things that won't reach the breakpoints or stuff that are already over it and you might not even hold on to them. The whole thing about this is that there is item breakpoints that I want to make you guys aware of. I know some of you probably do know this already. There has been some information on Reddit and everywhere else. But items have a certain breakpoint where their stats will increase a little bit more than the previous levels. As you know, when you upgrade items at the blacksmith, all the stats go up a little bit. And then once you actually hit a certain breakpoint, the stats could even re-roll the secondary stats. So if you go from having a good roll, let's see if I have anything for an example. This one has 27 willpower, so 24 to 34 is the roll. So that's like a mid-roll. It's not on the high end, it's, not, it's more closer to the low end. So that will go up automatically when you upgrade this piece. But then once you hit a certain breakpoint, it could actually re-roll it. So it could be higher or it could be lower. It could be wherever on that spectrum. And these breakpoints, I'm going to share with you guys, there is this Reddit document over here. I will have it linked down below for you guys. This guy made a post about all the item breakpoints. So early on, 1 to 49 as well. And then all the way up. But these are the only real two that we want to worry about is 625 breakpoint to 724. Because if you have a piece that, for example, this one over here is uh, 716. So we'll be able to hit that next breakpoint at 725 with the upgrading because the upgrading works that you get five per little node and i believe ancestrals you can upgrade five times sacreds and legendaries four times so between four and five is how much you can upgrade so between 20 and 25 power extra is how much you'll gain as you see on that ancestral piece i've upgraded five out of five and it's gained the 25 item power so this one over here, we need to upgrade a few times to go past the level there so let me just upgrade it for you guys and we'll see as it goes up so first upgrade, it's going to gain plus 3 to the willpower. The roll is still going to stay the same. You see it because it was a 27. So it's going to gain 3 to it. And then, But the new roll then changes. So let's go upgrade it. And now you can see the willpower is 30. And the roll has gone up a little bit because before it was between 24 and 34. So it has increased everything. Okay, so you can see there the rolls haven't really changed at all. It just has, everything has gone up as the item is now... 721 but with the next upgrade we should ding it over into 726 and that's when we should see a major difference there let's see the differences there see the whole the rank of war one could go up to three but what is our role we actually have a good role on it too because it's can't go any less one to two so let's just go ahead and upgrade it bam now it is where it should be and our willpower role has kind of stayed the same our war one could have been a lesser one but it actually stuck to the high one our intellect roll is now at max and the dex roll is at minimum. And as a great example in this video, thank you for working out once in this uh, universe of randomness. The intellect roll has actually changed on these gloves. As you can see there, the intellect roll before when we were upgrading it was the lowest out of the two options. Now it's the highest. The dexterity, however, did go lower a little bit. The willpower stayed the same. So that's what you got to be careful of. The more stats and things you have there that could re-roll themselves um as possible once you hit the breakpoints but if this was for my sock that would be a really good roll now because the int is maxed out so that would be pretty cool for my sock so just to enlighten you guys that the breakpoints are there the documents down below to keep an eye out on them 725 and 625 are the only two you really got to worry about once you get to where i'm at in the gear so like past 70 i don't think you really see much under six or 700 yeah 655 so it's already past the first breakpoint and this won't reach the next breakpoint. So this is actually a pretty bad piece. And yeah, as you can see, it's my only sacred I have. So well, actually this one too, but that one is also under the breakpoint, but it's really, really good for me. So I'm gonna need to upgrade these two is what I'm trying to work on now to get them ancestrals and to get them into that 725 plus breakpoint to get more stats and then possibly a reroll to the best on whatever the piece is that I have. So just keep that in mind when you're upgrading as well as early on i would suggest to not upgrade your gear too much like upgrading it three times is pretty good because when you upgrade it like past three it becomes pretty expensive we go there see it's 21k i believe earlier in the video that was like 3k or 2k or something like that i would say four is the max you want to go because after this upgrade it's probably going to cost a lot whatever i have a lot of materials let's go so you see there from 21 now it is 72 and it's a lot of these as well those you can only find in legendary things and this you can only find in hell tide so these are pretty limited and then obviously your gold as well early on so i would suggest upgrading things to three unless you know you're going to keep them for a long time then you can go ahead and upgrade them four but don't upgrade them until five so you are certain you're going to be using those for a while i mean obviously you can't be certain because 
everything is RNG, how the loot drops and how the rolls are. But just a decent piece that has an aspect of yours that's pretty powerful. And you're thinking to hold on to it for a while. Go ahead and upgrade it to five. Or if you get to a point where you just have quite a lot of materials like I do, you can. I would still suggest against upgrading everything because, you know, the resources are not infinite and they will run out if I go and spam upgrade a lot of pieces every other piece to try for my build. So just keep in mind, don't waste your materials. Check the breakpoints. Don't upgrade past three early on. Once you get to around level 70, then you can go to four and whatever. Once you get some good, decent gear, then I believe once I pass 80, like right where I'm at right now, I just need to replace these two. And then I don't think I'll be replacing gear for a while as most of your power then actually comes from Paragon, not really upgrading your armor pieces anymore because the modifiers and multipliers that you get in your Par Paragon board, so just pure XP is a much bigger increase than what the item power is and the rolls and stuff on your items. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and liked it. If you did, please drop a like and a sub to the channel. It helps me out so much. And I'll catch you beautiful people in the next one. Hoggy say now. Run free and dive into the sky. Hear the wind crying out its prayer while we're so